Oh, sure. There are perks to working out that appeal to my vanity. Toned arms, lifted ass, visible abs. But since I've turned 40, working out has taken on a new significance. I don't do it for you. I don't do it to be desirable. I do it so I can answer the question, who will take care of you when you're old? And the answer is me. If I take care of me now, I can take care of myself later. Because contrary to what magazines tell you, there's more than a beach body at stake when you work out. There's, you know, your general health, your heart, your brain, your bones. They all benefit from a regular workout practice. There are serious stakes for me starting to seriously work out now. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I thought that I didn't have to work out or I'd get to it later because I thought I'd never get old. But if I'm serious about being a spinster for the long haul, I need to think about the future now. And that means being as fit as possible. So here are the reasons I'm working out that aren't about physical perfection. I've fallen and I can't get up. <sighs> When we were kids, we used to make fun of this commercial. It's so shitty. Falling is a major cause of injury and death for older adults. So here's the science behind why we fall more as we get older. Loss of muscle tone, poor eyesight, side effects from medications, those can all contribute to falls in older adults. Balance problems that start in the inner ear are also more common. Strokes and high blood pressure can contribute to dizziness, making you more likely to fall. But balance is something that you can develop and maintain. It's called proprioception and it's how your brain interprets where you are in space. And like everything, it can get worse as you get older, but it's so important to avoid falls. Having good proprioception means being able to adjust your gait to compensate for whatever surface you're on, like, for example, a bumpy rug. Exercise keeps muscles strong and keeps you flexible so you can maintain the ability to make those micro adjustments so you can catch yourself before you fall. Because even if you have a life alert button, they'll just come peel you off the bathroom floor. It won't prevent you from breaking a hip in the first place. I am a white lady, if you have not noticed. Osteoporosis runs in my family. All of my female relatives are shrunk at least half a foot. It's a very common disease among older white women. But you aren't immune to osteoporosis because of your race or gender. Basically, what happens as you age, your body is no longer to replace bone cells as fast. So, you know, got milk? I'd better drink up. <laughs> Oh, milk is so nasty. How did I drink this when I was a kid? Ugh. Does it just look like jizz? It probably just looks like jizz. Fortunately, drinking milk is not the only way to prevent Swiss cheese bones. Lots of other foods are rich in calcium and other bone building nutrients, like salmon, almonds, and even spinach. That's actually not a bad salad recipe. And diet is only one way to have healthy bones. Rebuilding bone and doing weight bearing exercise is maybe more important than slugging down a giant glass of milk. Putting stress on your bone actually spurs them into making more bone cells. I have fallen, I can get up, and I didn't break a hip. Now, where was I? Oh, all right, all right. Proprioception. Proprioception is, oh, I told that one already. I, I forgot. Working out doesn't just keep your body working. It keeps your brain working as well. Exercise keeps you sharp as you age. Physical activity actually influences immune cells in the brain and can ward off dementia. And studies have shown that exercise adds volume to the hippocampus, the area of the brain where memories are stored. So there you go. Eat it up, boys. I'm looking fly for me and my future. Of course, no amount of exercise can guarantee good health as you age, but knowing I'm doing everything I can to help myself become a better old person, the kind of old person I admire, makes it worth it. See you next time. Mm -hmm.